And now, hello, welcome everybody back to our throne discussion. This time, I'm really thrilled to uh, welcome our extreme sports adventure, Stephen Hawkun. Uh, they are among the coolest people now in the world, uh, climbing the mountains and high volcanoes. So, welcome here to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm uh, Håkon Skogarnsen. I'm primarily a saxophone player. I work as a professional musician. And besides that, I'm doing extreme adventures, uh, climbing high, high mountains, doing extreme endurance sports, extreme sports, and yeah, living life to its fullest, I guess. Cool. See, what about you? Yeah, my name is Siv Hashta, and I'm a speaker, mindset coach, and also climbing the high altitude peaks. and other extreme adventures as well cool yeah. see you started as an executive mm. uh, and you are not there any longer that's a big climb to actually go from being an executive to be an extreme sport adventure yeah tell us corporate is a bit uh, <laughs> different <laughs> but it's uh, been you know high altitude mountains is my passion in life you yeah. know and to achieve reaching the summits and the mastery of all of that and to bring the stories from it, pictures back to corporate. Yeah. Uh, I love that, sharing it with them. What was your goal? I mean, what was your goal and where are you now? Well, my initial goal was to climb the highest peak on each continent, the seven summits, and I've already done that. But now I raised the bar, so I will climb the highest volcano on each continent and then go to the North and South Pole. Hokon, you have an interesting story as well. I mean, you. I mean, we are in the music industry here in uh, in A6 Music. What is your passion around your climbing? I mean, I think I heard some rumors about some saxophones. Yeah, I mean, the world needs more saxophones. That's just how it is. And uh, I started out uh, with an ambition of climbing the seven summits, so so the highest mountain on each of the seven continents here yeah. in the world. But I wanted to bring my saxophone and I wanted to play a concert at these summits yeah and also composing music uh, on the inspirations I get by climbing the mountains by the culture I stumble across seeing the different nature and the, the, you know the contrast and emotion that I go through so my, my goal is basically to, to climb these summits play a concert and compose a symphony on the way up and down I lost my vision on the summit of Everest yeah. and uh, definitely not the place I'll choose to be blind if I could choose for it. And that was on the top? That was on the summit <laughs> and I had to climb blind from the summit down to Camp 4 which is 1000 altitude meters. Yeah. Extreme steep and narrow path down there. Whoa. Repelling without Repelling without seeing, you know. What is your brain? What is your body telling you? I mean, do you, listen, uh, do you, ha do you have a song in, in your head when you climb all those m meter stone or how is it? Yeah, I, <laughs> I sometimes listen to music, but when I did that without seeing, I had more than enough with focus, yeah. you know, yeah. using my coaching skills and keeping myself focused on coming safely down. Yeah. Yeah. Hokon, you also had a quite interesting experience in uh, 16th of May in 2019. Yeah, that yeah, that was my summit day on Everest, and I, you know, I, I set the goal of trying to play a concert up there, and it's probably it's the last place on earth you want to go blind, mm -hmm. or you want to play a concert. Yeah. I mean, the backstage is horrible. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, well, I came up there. I had six frost bites on my fingers, a couple on my toes, and you know, it was very cold. We had to walk through a horrible storm at night, so that was a. Uh, uh, yeah, horrible experience, but I managed to do it though. I played a couple of minutes up there, but it was like, you know, the, the, the pre-course for, for playing in the marching band. I was like staring at where to put my fingers <laughs> and I felt like a, a noob. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I use the music a lot, both for when I'm training and on my expeditions, yeah. both for the tough part, but also walking in nature and amplifying the feelings of yeah. being there um, but also to get ready for doing talks and you know I use it for different things yeah and for dancing yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 for dancing, <laughs> having fun. Yeah. That is important for everyone. But I mean, we work in SX Music, we work uh, a lot with extreme sports. We wor- uh, work with UFC and IR. Uh, they're actually hosting some seven Olympic sports together in one. So they train a lot. I guess for you guys as well, training up, getting the performance, even when you're in the toughest situation, music can be a kind of tool to help you to climb over the last meter there to to achieve what you want to achieve yeah definitely so it's, it's such an important source of inspiration when you're out there and and motivation i yeah. mean when you're feeling down you can you can turn on your individual soundtrack of life yeah. and you feel empowered and you you're, you're able to go on even you know several more hours and just yeah. push your body to that next level that you could not have done without music yeah. I mostly rock and roll yeah. or some powerful music, you know. Mention an artist. I mean, I'm a, I'm a rock and roller as well. I mean, I, I grew up on the Sunset Strip. I mean, I mean, I, I, I've heard I, her rock in ACDC and bass camp. <laughs> so yeah, ah, that's great, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Is that what you like? Yeah. <laughs> I see this is not worse. What about you, Hokon? What's your favorite? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm more into the more <laughs> experimental side of music. I love yeah. super commercial EDM music. Yeah. That's that I, I just love it. It brings a good you know, feeling in, inside me. But I, I really love to listen to more experimental jazz music when I'm out in nature because it really kind of makes the whole climbing, walking to a pole, that whole feeling be more of a mindfulness movement than just walking you know yeah. it's mm-hmm. more meditation than 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 hard pain my end goal is more artistic uh, in the way that i want to use music to make everest for instance more accessible to people yeah. without going there i want to use arts uh, music big orchestra videos narrators i want to use different elements of art to make a show where people could actually experience Everest yeah. in a concert hall. So, see, what is your long-term goal? Well, I want to do motivational talks for yeah. corporate, of course, uh, but also to bring the nature and to people, yeah. because there's so many people that cannot go where we go. Yeah. So to bring that with stories and pictures, videos, etc., yeah. that's what I love to share, you know. So what we're gonna do here in NSX Music, we're gonna follow these two fantastic people. They're gonna follow you through the motivation you can give a lot of people here. Perfect. I'll say thank you to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.